Hello everyone, this is Mr. Informal back with another content and video for Dragon Ball Super. I want to talk about something that I previously talked about which was my review of the Future Trunks Arc Saga. I will leave a link in front of this video and also in the description box and description area so you can look back and uh, listen to what I've said about the my review of the Future Trunks Saga. This time it's actually different. Instead of talking about part 2, I want to talk about something that the writers, the directors, and the animators, what can they learn from the Future Trunks Arc Saga? Because the Future Arc Saga, a lot of people, a lot of viewers, a lot of fans had mixed reviews, mixed thoughts about it. A lot of them certainly did not like the ending. I did not like the ending. In terms of actions, I liked it, but just did not like the ending and the resolution it had. So let's talk about it, okay? And so the Future Trunks Arc Saga was the new saga that we wanted to see other than the return of Frieza, but that was already a movie, okay? So I got a couple here. I'm not gonna go in order here. So let's talk about the pacing of it. The pacing was correct throughout the Future Trunks arc saga, but except the first, the last two episodes, suddenly the pace went so fast. It was rush, rush, rush. It was like, boom, another spirit sword, another new techniques, another transformation or what have you. And then we see Future Trunks time suddenly explode to bit and did not did not result out in the resolution that we wanted to see we wanted to see trunks actually defeat black goku and zamasu on his own but that wasn't the case so let's have a slow and proper pacing of the episode consistently from the first episode of the saga or arc to the last Let's not have it rush like Naruto or Bleach. It's crazy nowadays that they have to rush. Development of characters' techniques. What I mean is, I want to see how they were developing it, how they were training, how they were actually preparing their new techniques, not just out of nowhere pull it out without us seeing background information of it without us seeing them develop it so we need to see that not rush into scene we can't have the techniques just suddenly be rushed out there and we can't suddenly have certain scene be so rushed we need time to develop it so we can understand it throughout the episode and we can actually understand it while watching the episode not rush into episode again we gotta have that pacing. We can't just suddenly have two episodes be rushed in every scene. Because previous episode where one or two scenes were slowly developed and then we understood it throughout the episode or during the episode. The resolution here. This is my thing, okay? In the Future Trunks Arc Saga. Actually, let me go back to the Dragon Ball Z Saga. We actually see Trunks defeat Android 17 and 18 and Cell on his own when he when he went back to his time. So that was great. I mean, we knew coming in that Trunks was more was much more powerful because he went through training, he went through the battlefield, he went through development on the present time or the past. So when he went back, we knew how stronger he got. So it wasn't a surprise that he defeated Andrew 17 and 18 and Cell. And but in his but in his time, the Future Trunks arc sag, we saw Zeno actually um, demolishing and absolutely destroying Trunks world. Just gone, disappeared. There was no resolution. He defeated Zamasu and Black Goku, but after that we saw Zamasu and Black Goku not being destroyed. So who else 
is gonna destroy this whole world. Basically, not just Earth was destroyed. His whole time, his whole universe was destroyed. So how can you have a resolution like that without even letting our main hero, the future Trunks, actually killing the enemy? And that was not the resolution that we wanted to see. That was not the result that everybody wanted to see. We were pulling for Trunks. We wanted him to defeat on his own, just like how he defeated Android 17 and Cell back in Dragon Ball Z. And obviously we gotta have that animators and drawings correctly and consistent. We can't have one episode be grand and another episode be mediocre. We can't accept that. And the, the and here's the thing. It's, it's a rare thing that future trunks and present trunks are talking to each other so that may affect time. I'm okay with this, but they have to take in a, they have to acknowledge that this may affect time. And it was so hectic with future trunks because when he defeated, I mean when he went back in time in Dragon Ball Z, he created another time. And then when Goku defeated, I mean, no, actually, when Beerus uh, killed Zamasu, he created another time. So it was a bit confusing. They need to clear this out. So they need to have a clear and direct writing on it and direction as to where this is going because as a viewer, as a fan, it gets so confusing. So they need to take that in consideration that clear direction, clear writing, clear resolution, action scenes correctly, pacing, and not rushing into certain things. And obviously development of characters throughout the saga or arc. So those are the things that the uh, animators, the writers, and directors, especially Akira Toriyama, that can learn from the Future Trunks arc saga. That's my opinion. What do you think that they could learn from the future Trunks arc or saga? Let me know down below the comments section, okay? I do read the comments and I do actually reply to them. And so, that is my um, content. And that's my, uh, re no, I'm sorry, not episode review. This is my video of what writers and directors and animators can learn from the future Trunks arc saga. And so, that concludes it. I will see you in the next content. Bye-bye.